What is going on everybody? It is Ramp with Ramsky Gaming and I am bringing you another tutorial video for those of you who own a Rift and like to play R-Factor 2 but have pretty poor performance or you have to make a lot of graphical sacrifices to get the proper frames regardless of your specs on your computer. So anyway, if you guys want to know how to increase this performance, stick around and I will be showing you. Alright, so the first thing you're looking at here is a user on GitLab.com named Z Nixion, and he is the creator of this. I do not want to take credit for it, so I just wanted to throw that out there, let you guys know that. So anyway, um, he offers the download on this web page, but I found it a little bit more complicated than what I'm about to show you here. So what I set up was I basically, you only need two files, and I put them on a Mediafire um, hosted, you know, I hosted it on a Mediafire and I'll provide the link in the description. So essentially what you want to do is go to the link in the description, download the file, it's called Open Composite. You'll open that and you will see two files in there. Um, so what you'll do with these two files is you will simply open up your R Factor 2 directory and the easiest way to get to that, if you don't know where it's installed, I would imagine most of you would know this, but some of you may not. Um, but you basically go into your Steam, right click R Factor 2, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. That'll take you to the main directory of the game. You'll simply go to bin64 and you will just move these two files into it. I'm not going to do that because I already have them in the, in the folder here. But the other thing to note is that if you open up this open composite in a Word document or, you know, WordPad or Notepad or whatever, you'll see the settings here and you can change your super sampling here. That's really the only one you want to worry about. I wouldn't mess with any of these other things um, as it works very well. But I keep mine at 1.0 because I like to have my settings turned up quite a bit so the videos look a little better. But if you're more one of those guys, you're not doing any kind of video work and you want your headset display to look better, you're going to want to turn the super sampling up. So anyway, guys, I hope you gain um, a lot of performance increases and turn up the graphics a little bit more, get better, you know, more consistent frames and all that good stuff. So anyway, if you guys like this content, please feel free to leave a comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.